Have you ever heard the term stage left, stage right, upstage, downstage, and not quite understood what that person was talking about? That's what we're talking about in today's video, stage terminology to help you communicate clearer in a production environment. So you might have heard these terms before and wondered what the heck they're actually talking about. So today we're going to talk about the most common terms that I use in production and hopefully it helps you. So the most common ones probably stage left, stage right, or house left, house right. Uh, stage left and right is if you're on the stage looking out at the crowd and then it's just left and right. So stage left, stage right. If you're in the house looking at the stage, that would be house left, house right. So where you'd probably find this useful is like if you're in the house and there's a camera and you need to move it to the right, you'd be, hey, we need to move that camera house right. Or if you're like on the stage and there's a drum kit and you need to move it to the left, it'd be, hey, we need to move this drum kit stage left. And that helps clear up communication as to which orientation it's going because usually there's people in the house, there's people on the stage, and it can kind of get confusing if you're just calling out left and right. The next most common term that we use would be upstage and downstage, which is referring to the front of the stage and the back of the stage when you're standing on the stage. So a little history lesson, old theaters, the seating would slope and the stage would slightly slope all towards the middle and that's where water drainage would actually happen. So the stage was actually sloped down towards the front, which is where downstage came from and upstage would be going to the back of the stage because you technically would be going up the stage. So that's your upstage and downstage is front and back. Um, where this comes in handy is if you need to, again, move things on stage or have things placed on stage, be like, hey, all the way upstage, we need to go all the way upstage center with that. Or, hey, we need to move all the back line upstage, which means it needs to go towards the back of the stage. So that's where those terms would come in handy instead of front and back. Again, what orientation are you? I could be out at front of house and say, hey, we need to move that upstage and everyone knows it's got to go up towards the back of the stage versus, hey, we need to move that back. Again, what orientation are you talking about when you say we need to move that back? So that's where the upstage and downstage can come in very handy. The next common term that you'll probably hear is on stage and off stage. So this refers to on stage moving it towards the center of the stage and off stage would be moving it off left or right off of the stage. So again, hey, we need to move that vocal on stage, which means wherever they're located, they need to move towards the center of the stage or a drum kit. Hey, we need to move it off stage left, which means, hey, it's got to go off towards the off stage left side. So it's got to move left towards going off of the stage. So on stage, off stage. That's the term that we would use there and kind of how we would use that. Hey, move that vocal on stage. Hey, move those keys off stage right. That would be moving him off of the stage towards the right. And lastly, this is more of a rigging term, but in and out refers to up and down. So in would be something coming in. So going down and going out would be something going up. So usually you would call this when you're moving motors or trusses in or out. It'd be, hey, LED truss going out, which means it'd be going up or LED truss coming in, which would be coming down. Again, it's just to clarify the ins and the outs. If you're just calling up or down, that could be a little bit confusing, but in and out clears things up for your up and down. So I wanted to make this video short, but I really wanted to explain those terminologies for you in case you didn't know. I really hope that this helps you communicate better in your production environment.